because oh my gosh this costs so much money hey guys what's up if you're new here my name's taylor and i teach third grade in central california and today i have a super exciting teacher haul for you little disclaimer if you feel a hint of angst just sprinkle throughout the video i don't even get paid in july but here take it why not it's because there is. Because quite frankly, I don't get why this costs so much money. Just trying to set up my classroom, no big deal. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> Coming from Michael's GW Dollar Store. Haven't even been to Target yet, but here we go. From Dollar Tree, I got these little binders that I'm sure I will use for small group sub plans, that kind of stuff. Um, Paper to go in binders. Got little, got some fun little tags. I think I'm going to use this to help separate their interactive math notebook. Um, but yeah, I got scissors. Uh, these are more for my apartment because my boyfriend breaks all those scissors. Um, what else did I get from Dollar Tree? Oh, how could I forget? I also got. 27 of these bad boys. 27. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, plus one for myself. And I got like four of these big posters and, and more different colored ones. Because I'm decorating my room in llamas and cactuses and that fun stuff. So I'm just going to make my own decoration things instead of having to buy more stuff or print out a bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna put my creative skills into this and plus it's just kind of fun. Luckily Dollar Tree is the spot because they're normally always like two for a dollar. Um, and so that'll definitely help put some color in my room, make things pop. And I think that's all from Dollar Tree. All of that ended up coming out to about $50. And considering I got like 27 of these plus my own binders and whatnot, um, seems about right. Next, I went to GW and since I'm switching to third grade, I need all of these little charts. And all this comes with place value, my addition table, multiplication table, and a fraction breakdown. So I figured that'll be super helpful. That ended up being about like 13 bucks, but with each chart costing about like three or four bucks, it all kind of equals out to the same. And at least they all have a similar like color scheme. Try not to get too frustrated about that. Uh, next, I've got these little cactus guys. I was debating printing some out myself, but this at least saves some time and hassle. Um, also got borders. So since I'm a new teacher, I'm still stocking up on borders, which is a minor frustration in itself because these things cost so much money. But at least, so this one I was like upset about, but like not upset about. This thing was like seven bucks, but it's double-sided. So I'm like, okay, two birds, one stone. Um, well, the rest are normally like $4. So I, so I got these borders. These are the most extravagant ones I'll get. I already have green and blue, so then all I needed was pink. So I go pretty basic with the color ones. Like I said, these are going to be the only extravagant out there ones that I have. Okay, so not a necessity, but I loved these as a kid. I sucked at grammar and had no idea what like nouns, adjectives, verbs, didn't know the difference. But these helped me figure out the difference in a fun way. So I thought, how cool would it be to like at the beginning of the day, do a Mad Lib or whatever, and then have it be like a station where they get to make up their own with a partner or something like that. So yeah, not a necessity, but thought, got it. That is all I got from GW and that was a whopping like 60 bucks. Michaels. Some of you might've already seen my Michael stuff on Instagram. Get some of them. All right, these came from the other room. So you might have seen them on my Instagram already, but I finally got these, what do you call them, like work trays? Desk, student desk tray thingamajigs. But I finally got these desk tray thingamajigs so I can start implementing flexible seating. Michael's had these on sale for $5, and that's the cheapest that I've seen them. Plus with a 15% off teacher discount thingamajig, and have like four or something. Um, but I got two of each color, so two, four, six, five dollars piece, 30 bucks. Still worth it. 
And then I only got three of these little book bins because I figured I'll most likely use them for like my small group or whenever they're in pods if I want to have their books per each pod, something like that. So I will have to go back and get a couple more. I was just really not wanting to spend the extra money at that time. Uh, these were $4 a piece. So four, eight, 12. Yeah, so that ended up being about 45 bucks. Great, is that right? So that ends up being about $42 and... And I also got this poster because I love the little quote. I think I'm gonna hang it in my writing station. It says, mistakes are proof that you are trying. So I'm gonna put this in my writing station with these. And I made these two ginormous pencils that I'm going to put in my writing station too. Um, and then of course, then of course I got a planner. I did not do the traditional teacher planner because I tend to not use the teacher ones as much as I think I will. So might as well try something else. And if not, it just ends up a cute decoration piece on my desk like the other ones have. All right, so I think that's all I got. And I'm still not that done. I still have to get some stuff for these binders and I'm pretty sure I'll make a video about me making the binders because those are gonna be really cool. And yeah, so uh, there went all my money. Even though I tried to just get like kind of necessary stuff. Maybe it's not that necessary. Maybe I'm just like a noob and I impulse buy. But I tried. So let me, let me do the math real quick. Okay. All right, so I suck at math so I had to bust out paper and pencil. Um, so, uh, if you followed along and did the math, that ends up being about like 50 bucks at Dollar Tree, $62 at Michael's, and $60 at GW. I did get GW wrong, I only spent $50 at GW, thank God, but it still comes out to a whopping 162. And like I said, I was trying not to go overboard, just trying to get like the necessary stuff, and quite frankly, it's just like, are borders a lot to ask for? And binders and paper? I don't, am I missing something? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I got a lot for that price. Maybe it was like, girl, you got gypped. Um, but I'm new, so uh, if you know some more secret spots to shop, hit a sister up, because apparently I'm still learning. <laughs> Anywho, on that note, that's my teacher haul for you guys today. I will keep you updated on whenever I make these bad boys and their fluency folders and all of that stuff. So now digs into like the deep teacher stuff. So now summer's over and here comes all the hardcore teacher videos. Get ready. So I hope you enjoyed this fancy pants teacher haul. I hope you're having an awesome summer and getting way better shopping deals than I am. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Let me know if you got some better deals. Hook a sister up, please. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye.